I'm very certain that majority of you guys that's going to click on this video have seen the very first video, which is a podcast episode featuring XFX Code CEO Andrew, where Andrew exposed a whole lot of things that was going on behind the scenes. Now, ever since that video dropped, the twins made a response with proof. This is going to get really interesting. With me, I have the video, so we're going to jump straight in. From from the outside perspective, mm -hmm. you know, when you look at FX Gold, uh, you see it's the it's the four guys. Uh, it's Andy, Jaguar, Emmanuel, Tabelo. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, then eventually FX Gold became this thing of like this. Everyone now is like an FX Gold mentor. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like that's where you also messed up. You know what I mean? I feel like we started... To want to give a lot of opportunities to a lot of people at some uh, you know everyone's the goat everyone's mm. the goat you know and then when did things start falling apart because i feel like the moment you know i whatever disagreement was had that side you know and i know i know um here's one thing i'll say is that I, i've spoken to everyone individually but mm. i know no there's no beef beef mm. like that it's just a matter of everyone just has a different purpose in life and then y'all just wanted to go different ways mm. but i feel like from that point that's when i was like from a guy from the outside i'm like starting to see is like hey yeah hey one of them is gone okay and then somewhere down the line you know people are dropping out left right and center mm. Yeah, was there a particular reason to that? Um, okay, I want to say when I joined FX Goat and I was promoted as CEO, I got blamed for firing Andile. Really? I was I was the um, Lungus coming, he's taking <laughs> over everything, he's getting rid of Andile. Yeah. But there was there was a disagreement between Emmanuel Tapello and Andile. Yeah. And they, they just couldn't see eye to eye um, and anything that they were doing, and they just decided that, you know, it's best that we go our separate ways. Yeah. I want to stop right there. Yes, that is the truth. That's what happened. I feel like, you know what I mean? Uh, when money started getting involved, some other people didn't know on how to basically control themselves. You know what I mean? They didn't know how to make money on their side and leave money for the company to grow. Is that FX code saying Andile was greedy? The thing is, guys, we did accounting. So a company, it's a separate entity. It makes its own money and it grows by itself. You on your personal capacity, you trade on yourself, you make your own money. And it's yeah. also so, for tax purposes, right? You know what I mean? You have to do tax for business, tax for yourself. Everything is different. Everything yeah. must be different. So and you don't steal companies' money. What happened was Andy Lugas, we took some companies' money, and from that we had to take measures. That's when we tried to, you know, discuss with the guy, but you know he refused, and then we ended up having to say, okay, let's go separate ways. Because that's a selfish reason. I wanna see if he's gonna lie with a straight face because he was even there when Andile you know, mm -hmm. when we were dealing with the Andile situation. Guys, I told you all, I felt like Andrew knew what was happening, but he just didn't want to speak about it because obviously it's in it's in the court of law. Um, but obviously my suspicion is served correct here. I mean, we, there were lawyers involved. We had a meeting for him. We showed him what happened. He saw what Andile did. He was involved. I don't know why he's not mentioning it. That is highly disingenuous already. And, you know, he knew everything. Why we had a problem with Andili? He was there on the last meeting the day. Andy Highly disingenuous, you say. He didn't come to the meeting. He was there. I yeah. didn't say anything about it. And I think, well, like anything, if you look at, like, bands and stuff, everyone starts out as a band and then mm. they go out and do their own thing. And I think it's just the natural progression of life as you're thinking, uh, and uh, I, I, well, I don't blame Andile, you're thinking, if I'm doing all of the work or most of the work for the company, and I'm only getting a percentage of it. Why not do my own thing and I can get 100%? And that was the problem right there. Andy was not willing to work for the company. And just like that, we couldn't align. You know what I mean? So we just let him to do his own thing. And, and that's why I say he went out and he started his own thing, Providence FX, yes. and he had his own mentors and stuff. But the, the thing that people don't see is, it's like, imagine uh, today's Friday, Andile has announced that he's left. And now it's Monday, and Delia has announced an academy with mentors. Mm. Do you think so, a process like that happens over a weekend? Mm. Definitely so this not. Is, this is something that happens, you know, weeks or months in advance with, is, and Delia is not happy with something or wants something to change, so now I'm going to start doing my own thing. And I think that's where the, the biggest thing comes in, because we well, like the contracts that I put into place. You couldn't work for FX Goat and then go work for a competitor. Mm. Yeah, and that is true, guys. Another thing that happened, um, people started looking out for themselves, um, even for somebody to open 
a company after a few days he's been fired or a few days whereby he's separated with the company next thing he has his own team because this thing was already planned people are already doing their own business within our company i want you guys to understand and yeah. from there this guy actually continued talking to our staff even though we told him to separate and you guys want to hear a shocker you know approaching the end of the video you're going to hear we're going to be exposing everything later. just by having things like that and you know the, uh, they were going after and delay because the contract that and stuff that i had made and that's where the, the big disagreements and stuff came in and guys i want you guys to understand even when we started this company we've always been traders we had traders first before anything else mm -hmm. and it got to a point whereby we wanted to have this company grow on its own you know that is passive income while we focus on our active income which is trading mm -hmm. and that's where even, people took advantage yeah, even starting this company we were making our own money we put in 77k just to start the company our own money the proof is there you know what i mean uh, I know I don't, I don't know the full details, but mm -hmm. I know the disagreement was over money. Yeah, yeah. you know, it, it, yeah. I think it's, it's always over money. <laughs> if it's not girls, <laughs> it's money. <laughs> mm, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So okay. So yeah, that part happened. Okay. And then down to now, I think probably um one of the shocking, the most shocking news was like. FX goats is coming to an end, or mm. however that was phrased at the time. Mm. You're referring to that statement on Instagram. Yes, the Instagram statement. I, I want to go to the to the events surrounding that particular statement right there, or lead or to the events leading up to that. Okay, I want to say as as chief executive, everybody thought that the decision was mine and that I was doing everything. But uh, a week or so prior to to this statement that the twins had put out on FX Goat, I, I actually drove down to Durban. Because the offices that they moved into there needed renovation. Mm. And I went there for two, three days renovating that office. And now for me, when somebody gets asked to renovate, there's no, I'm not going to renovate. You know, honestly, that's when it was the company. You know what I mean? When Andrew went to Devon to renovate, we just saw what these guys are plotting. Yeah. You know and also, another thing is, I want to be completely honest, this was not even his first time. I don't think he's being honest already. No. The first time we went to, yeah. to Devon, the first time we went there and nothing happened. And that's when you talk about, we spoke about him, it was me and Jagger. The problem started months back. Like, there was this time, you can, can you see this. Can, yeah. can you see the screenshot here? I'm going to put the screenshot, you guys can see what happened. Um, basically, we had a problem with Andrew. This was around the 24th of April, before he went for the last, um, before he went for the last trip. And yeah. things even This is 2023. Right? 2023. Yeah. So, Jack, Andrew, are you good? What's happening? We haven't seen you more. Tell us what's happening so that we can understand. We kind of feel like you've been too much occupied with other things. You know what I mean? However, you haven't told us what it is. Uh, your visit in Devon was not productive at all. No results came out of it. And you also didn't say as to when you're going to come back to Devon. So last year, he promised us, he promised us keep on offices about this. He's going to do something like that. Never happened. And we also talked about Devon, but we did our part. Like everything we planned to do, we did it. You understand? So, so basically, it all became a smoking in tea. Um, uh, and things disappeared without no trace. Yeah. Like, Cutting to the chase, you guys will just read the whole thing. I also want to add this card. In 2022, with the previous say, what made us see already the next plan was because of this. 2022, June, and we didn't even know about this. The time, Andrew. We are finally going to get some clarity on what star effects. Open is not star because, as you guys know, Andrew had his own broker. This is his broker, North Star. You can see he owned it. And then with that, we were running the company for six months, pre-marketing for him, everything. Never even got an ascent, as you can see here with the proof. Never got a cent, never got anything. So now, I want to tell you what kind of person are we dealing with. Right? On the 7th of July, 2022, Andrew with North Star said, guys, upon careful uh, consideration, obviously, upon is supposed to be you, we have decided to pause all operations for the time being. Guys, I'm just going to jump to this part. He said this part. This does not mean we are closing, but we are seizing all trading accounts and operations for the time being. You know what I mean? When I come just back. said we are paused. When I come back, when you read the whole thing, you are seeing that, okay, guys, all clients are requested to close all positions. Uh, thankfully, guys, I'm just going to jump to the end part. We thank you all for your support since the launch in January. This is now six months we've been pushing the whole thing. And then we'll be back better and stronger to create a more stable environment for our clients. And Andrew never came back. And the reality was that was the first scam. He scammed us. us. Like there's the time us, we Jay, and Java spoke about it. He scammed us. The whole employees he's supposed to have under as the CEO. He scammed like us. That, that's why that was his business and practice. Like, I'm like, this is the type of person we're dealing with that shit. Guys, I, I also wonder how come they never spoke about Nostar on that interview. Like you know I mean? how we never really owned Nostar. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, guys, we were used because we were, you know, naive black. 
You see why I say Nkobile is not the right person to be interviewing traders or to be interviewing anyone for that matter because they literally suck up to people. But that is a question, yeah. Why why wasn't North Star spoken about in in that podcast episode? I mean, we believed that, you know, he's a student and, you know, he's going to look out for us. He's, we thought he's a student. He's gonna Let me go fetch a sucker and I'll be back. Other things. You know how trading can be? I even wear glasses now because I'm always on the screen working, you know what I mean? Try to level up, be the best that I am. And, you know, I feel like we got exploited because we're right. good, so, naive black men who believed in other people. Yeah, so cutting to the chase, we all already planned over another company, take our employees when it was going to them. And we saw the whole thing. That's how we even planned it. You know what, bro? We're making so much money. You don't even need the company because a lot of people think FS Gold was our bread and butter, of which is not. FS Gold was, was its own entity. We are making money on our own. You know what I mean? So seeing that happen, we're like, you know what, bro, let's close this. Continue with what we do best because we are the best. You know what I mean? What we've been doing works. We are traders and that's what we're going to stick to. And that's us so giving him another chance. That's why we give him another chance so we were supposed to fire him. Right, because he scammed us. There was no money. We didn't get anything. Anybody was scammed with no star. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys want us to take this thing to bro, get to bro, petitions, type bro. of vibes, you know, for him to come. Ah, apologize. Because you already texted me, yo. You scammed me with no star. We we're not involved. We we're bro. used. We believed him. We didn't have and any control, thing. bro. I trusted Andrew. He doesn't have any business ethics. Bro. So we didn't want to. Did. So we don't want to play victim. What so we kept quiet. We took the hit. We took the hit. And he scammed us. Yeah. And then we talked about it. And he was like, "Now nah, I'm sorry, guys. This and that. Yeah. You, you know, know, the company made money. And then UK and English. Then the losses came. And then <laughs> there's regulations of Africa. The company closed. Nigga got lost in the sauce. It just said he made money and lost money. There's no profit. There's no losses. We got so like, bro, what about our six months of hard work telling people about your not uh, the group that you're saying is for FS Gold because you are our CEO? It's like, come oh, on, I'm gonna come back stronger. I'm gonna come back again. We never came back again. Bro, these guys came prepared, yeah, eh? This is the type of person dealing with. The only for the company to close down next week. Hmm. But I had no idea about this. Sure. So I went yeah, to no uh, uh, make all the mentors. This for months. Months. Like, at the time in April, Jago was saying, guys, there's no sales. Um, this happened even from last year. I feel like, you know, for Academy, it was booming during COVID days. COVID days yeah. Imagine. So ever since then, the money that was there, it was supposed to grow more. How we planning out to grow business. Because we just and they kept on eating the money. Oh. You know, they kept on eating the money. Go to a point about not even making any sales. We had to trade, put in the money. You have to hustle. Niggas have to eat our money. And that's the thing, guys. We understand that business and personal life are completely different. We can never take money from the company. And during the end, the ending days, the ending months of FS Code, we were never even paid. Bro, we the company was working to pay people. Pay people. Was no, working no, to pay people. And pay. why they're supposed to be paid? Because they they only started this company. We taught them how to trade. We said this just a stream. Do this. We I'm sorry, I'm just struggling to swallow. I've been sick this past few days. That's why I haven't been uploading anything. But the reason you pay them is because they play certain roles in your company. That's the reason you pay them. You don't pay them because they are friends with you. You don't pay them because you like them, because you love them. None of that. No. You pay them because you, pay them, sorry, because you have employed them. To play a certain role within your company you are passing down orders from yourselves which is obviously the highest chair in fx code all the way down and whatever you guys say has to be adhered to so just just keep that in mind you are paying people because they are working for you not because um not because you guys are friends or anything like that. But look, I also understand why you guys are saying this. I mean, I'd also be really angry. I'd also still be worrying, like, if people are snaking me like this, why have I been spending so so much money on salaries for you guys? So I totally understand why you said that in the minute or in the heat of your anger as well. But um, just keep in mind for that, my friend. We taught them how to use the money. Assistance. What did they do with the money? I feel like niggas got lost in a sauce. That's the reality. That's the reality. It was in high spirit. Everyone was happy. Yeah, we even went shopping for all the stuff, and I could see. And uh, we did all the work and stuff, and then we came back. And then that following, I don't even. I know it was the twenty eighth. Without even a message. This now. This is the part where I disagree with how they handled things. Yeah. Not even a message. Not even an email. Not even a kudos. Not nothing. It just gets put on Instagram. Oh, so, no. so looking for a broker go and look for one there in the description box crazy trade we'll call up until the end of the month there will be a 50 percent um deposit bonus 
So and they are FSA regulated. So use the link for Quasi Trade in uh, my description. And if you want to learn how to trade without having to pay anyone, um, if you want to learn your skills, if you want to learn how to read the cut report, if you want to learn how to read your fundamental analysis, please check the second link, which is a link for Rollo Jack's YouTube channel, where you will learn all this stuff for free. Guys, uh, guys, the thing is, bro, let's have Zoom meetings. My not disappearing in the office under his oh, management. Bro, there's a lot of things like that. The last time I actually told you, can now hear it that our receptionist, our mother, our someone who's almost handling all our client base, hitting the previous, you know, uh, ex employee, Andy. The only time the ship will sink is if water gets inside. And the problem bro. is, we have too many holes. Bro, the lot of people didn't want us at the top. They're already planning how you're gonna feel. I feel like Andrew, even with no star, he said we shouldn't have any broker deals because he bro. thought we're not gonna make sales. He's gonna take money from um North Star and we're not gonna have anything. I feel like that's what made him angry. He planned for us to fail and we didn't. You know, that's a hundred percent a plot and it didn't work because we can't tell about everything we're doing. We have businesses outside Forex that we don't tell you guys about because we don't want to put our identities on those companies because the industry likes to meddle in people's business. Like it's a noisy industry, as you guys can see. You know what I mean? People, people are not here before our success. That's one thing that made us to be, even this year, we've been more private. You know what I mean? We live in silence because, you know, our success is a problem. The moment we became successful, I feel like that's, that's our biggest sin. <laughs> That's where people see us as a problem. People are okay with you doing good, but not better than them. When they started doing better, they hate started. CEO, oh, exactly. <laughs> but now as CEO, I get all the mentors questioning me, why haven't I got a job anymore? And I, I have to turn around to them and say, guys, I've just learned about this at the same time as you. Guys, we've been talking about this the Stop whole the time. Cat. Been discussing this, guys. How the company's not doing well. Uh, Let's do this kind of change. Niggas didn't want to change. Weekly meetings, bro. Every weekly. week. I can show that we're doing weekly Zoom meetings, uh, talking, trying to make them change, trying to make them work, trying to have them make this thing work. Because when I get to a point here by now, guys, the company's not making money. Let it have the money it has until it finds a way for it to make more money. I was just wanted to say, it seems like the goat, I'm going to say the goat, I mean the twins, it seems like they also didn't have any agency over you guys. And I think that uh, that is the biggest problem or the, the, the or what, let me not say what led to the downfall of FX code, because obviously they're still operating, but that is why FX code took such a major hit in credibility. They just employed people who they thought they could trust. And um, when you look at how, because um, there's so, some, some other stuff that they also reveal in here, because when you look at how some of them have been snaking the goats, it's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys can start trading, but they always want a salary. I feel like they never wanted to that be paid us. what messed them up. You know guys, I mean? let me tell you something. The reason we're opening Express Finance, we're opening a pro firm right now because we're here to change the world. It's going to be fully transparent. You know, we're going to be the best because that's what we do before anyone you came. Help you we've been the best. We give away to our students. We've been doing giveaways. I want to even check his company if he's ever done any giveaway to show you what kind of person he is. We are the type of people whoever you want to win-win. We want to benefit the other people and some people want to win-lose. They want you to lose and they benefit. That's and for the fact that he wants he wants to ruin our image for him to rise up just to work on a person is. yeah there's something wrong with people who always need to put others down to raise himself like mm. keep an eye on this there's nothing i have was not involved in the decision i was not even spoken to about this nothing Bro, but now I all of them are turning thing. to me for answers yeah but at the same time, I'm sitting in the same boat as you guys. I, You're I'm, finding I'm, out alongside with the public at this point. Exactly. Exactly. And then the the real, <laughs> laugh of the goats. Uh, the, the real friction point. So like, it's the 28th now. Everybody is expecting to get paid. Oh, guys, there's no money to pay you this month. Oh, there's payment okay. slips. People are supposed to get More paid. Payment get slips. Paid. Guys, let me show you the day. This is the end of the last month. People got paid. I can show you all the months if I have to. Every month. I'm going to put the screenshots. People are getting paid forever. Even December, there was December board. And that's a wrong thing, guys. They, they end up not becoming traders. Depending on the start, they end up becoming employees. Why? Instead of traders. Who are not even earning during Andrew the last day. bro. Andrew scammed us so much that I'm like, you know, bro, I don't see why we should even pay Andrew. Andrew's a scam. Bro, he scammed out with North Star. He's been paying him his food. Bro, he, he was paid paying. his money and the time he was even scamming us with North Star, we were paying him. He paying him still. He literally scammed us. No, this man just saying straight out. This man scammed us. Oh, why don't you do to you? Guys, what did he do to North Star? I'm, I'm not perfect, but I have never done anything like that. That's not who we are. And, you know and what I mean? We've always wanted to look out for people. Guys, can we just collectively say that we have never seen the coach like this? These guys are angry. We have never seen them like this. The, oh, and I mean, obviously, they have reason to be upset. Yo, 
It's just that we've never seen them like this, man. We Bro. always have the best work ethic. That is why this name, we got it. That's how But I'm glad that, that they came prepared with the receipts, though. Haters are haters, bro. Like, what? Meanwhile, uh, no hate, no hate whatsoever. Two weeks ago, there's a brand new M8 sitting in his <laughs> driveway. But there's no... <laughs> that, that, bro, I told you our biggest thing was being successful. This is because we we're, were pocket watching my every move, bro. They know where the company was standing, and they know where we are standing aside. Yo. Me and Ames, even mm. Jagger knows this. Ames was not even knowing of this because he's more of the face, you know what I mean? He was even involved. To help us run the company, you know what I mean? Because that's what he's good at. To lie like this. Bro, we bought that money with our training money, bro. bro. We bought that car with our training money, bro. Our own blood, sweat, and tears. And that's what he's trying to, he's trying to use. He's I no money to pay staff salaries this month. Bro, you're you're like, so do you see where, as, a, as somebody that's at the high up of the company, I'm now being held responsible for these 11 people without jobs, but now you're... And I didn't know why you paid it, bro. Sorry to say it as a public platform, I know this is, you know, defray me, you can try to sue me, but it's the truth. Guys, let me tell you something. Get my client, what we did. And who's next? Let me give you guys some advice. Who's next? Let me give you guys some advice. I'm going to look at you guys straight in the eyes and give you guys some advice, right? Bro, get rid of liabilities. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, get rid of liabilities. There's one question you need to ask every person that's in your life. I'm not going to lie to you guys. No matter how long you've known these guys, whether, you know, he or she has done this for you, you need to know whether are they making deposit in your life or are they making withdrawals from your life, mm. you know? Because if the answer is withdrawals, then that's the person you need to distance yourself from. Mm. The moment they're only making withdrawals, that's the moment you need to distance yourself. Because remember, no one only makes withdrawals. I mean, if you go to an ATM, I remember I heard this from... um. Um, 50 cent right there was a book that he once released and he said that let's say you imagine that you know you go to an atm and it keeps on spitting out free money and according to a human nature right according to a human nature you'll go there every single day to take out that money until the banks figured it out yeah you know what i mean and that's the thing that people are the same way so i feel like until you shut them down people keep on taking taking until there is nothing left so we end up having getting we, we ended up having to get to a point about we have to get rid of people who want to only make withdrawals from our life and that's that's what happened that's the thing guys we we always wanted to share knowledge we wanted to spare other we always wanted to inspire other people we're traders guys check our trades we trade we take losses yeah, this year, bro. right let me just show you just this whole two months we made this withdrawal we made this withdrawal we've been trading bro like what okay what about, what about that you know like, but here's the, this one? here's the reality guys not everybody is willing to embark on this journey of self-improvement mm -hmm. right remember personal growth is an individual journey mm -hmm. and it's not a responsibility to convince other people to improve you can often guide them give them support but ultimately it's up to those individuals to take those steps yeah. respect their choices this, this, focus this, 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 energy on your own progress this is this is You're telling me there's no money to pay anybody but you got an m8 last week and then you had that Mercedes two weeks before. So How is there no that money to pay any sellers? And that bro. for me was the biggest sticking point to where pay, everything bro. turned. And we pay. Guys, we're launching a car, fam. Just know that the goats oh. pay. Bro. I'm going to show you guys what happened. Since it's getting to this point, we paid this guy 51k as a bonus. Bonuses. We paid for bonuses. Huge we bonuses. Paid. Should I show you the twins how much they paid? Show you how these guys got. We were paying people bro. and they took out all the money and we were thought we were paying them for the next future. Bro. Put it in, and people waste money. They just, mm. I feel like for you to be a millionaire, you're not using money to make money. You know what I mean? Even though, like, guys, the reason when you get a million. So you guys have obviously heard there, the business and the entities, meaning the people are two separate, two separate factions, if I can say it like that. So which means for them to have given this bonus to Andrew, that money must have been there in the FX GOAT, the business account to be able to give to him. And I've been telling you guys, these companies make money from people, young. 51k. Oh. Yo, guys, these people that's working for bigger companies in more important positions that doesn't even see that kind of a bonus at the end of the year. Yer. Yeah. 51k. <gasps> and yeah, I'm just looking for a 50 bucks to cut my hair over, sir. Yeah, so. You know the millionaire is because how you spend it. I mean, I'm a multi-millionaire because I can make multi-millions apart from anything, just from trading alone. You know what I mean? Bro. No, I think just just out of the the, the greatness. Bro, and he knows they don't flourish
Like in, imagine somewhere. the the offices were in Fanabel Park, yeah. and now uh, the 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 message from the top was to say, guys, we are moving to Durban. Yeah. If you don't move to Durban, to cheers. So everybody packed up their life in in Fanabel Park, and don't get me wrong, Fanabel Park is not a, a an expensive area to live. You know, they were living comfortably, they could do things. When meanwhile, Durban. Yeah. Is That's on another big. spectrum. So I came so, with the Durban thing. In fact, I was, uh, yeah, because he said he wanted to try to incorporate life classes, and you know we should try something else because obviously that. And that's when things actually got really messed up. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, listening to more people saw the truth. The whole thing like that's happening with that company. Like, oh, bro, the moment you step up, and so you. Really Guys, let me tell you, I'm not gonna lie. Me and my twin, we are not perfect, and we don't claim bro. to be perfect, guys. Bro. Um. I feel like I don't understand what gives this guy the right to come here and judge us, point out all our flaws. He doesn't understand that he's full of, he, he is full of flaws himself. A lot. How many times did he scam us? I think next time when you think about pointing out our faults or things that didn't go according to your expectations, perhaps you should look yourself in the mirror, bro. You should look at yourself in the mirror. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with people who have to, you know, step on others to get up. So now they've packed up their whole life and they've gone and they've moved into Durban and now there's two months. Okay, they've they've one been more. working for a month. They got paid for a month one and now they're coming up to the second month to get paid. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, okay, guys. So, there's no so they've been there two months, right? Okay, guys, we're going to check. Happens. They've been there for Let's months show. and then we only got one sale. And we what asked, would you do? What are you guys doing? Here's the CEO. You see what they're doing? With my company. We ask them they're questions, doing, they're trying to dodge around. They're all getting deals. It was ending with the broker. And then the next guys were coming. I think it was Gold FX. They were already putting another thing with that name again. Bro, uh, and people now are coming to office. People are coming to office. Look, people are coming to office. Like, but there was no money at all. They, they were eating all the money from the office and they were eating the money of the clients. Our reception was taking our clientele somewhere else. The company was doomed. It was a plan for it to fail. That's why it failed on its own capacity. Bro, he came to the he came to the office and he put two cameras in the office of six rooms. And with two cameras, he doesn't understand that they have mics and they were discussing how they're going to be working with MFT. So that's what he already did MFT while we're working with FSCO. He was starting another company after asking us to start. Don't even help him with the name. And that's what we said. In that club. Yeah, he's prof fam. And then we said he's not going to scam us this time around because he was already planning. He was while working for us. Is mm. planning to steal employees while with the ones paying them salaries mm. while they're eating all the money. I mean, and now you still expect everybody to get back home. I, I gave a few mentors petrol uh, money mm. the so they could at uh, least go home. Got, uh, sure. And from you know, I'm actually getting quite emotional about this, but from you know, somebody that can sit there and say there's not enough money to to pay your, your staff, but don't worry, I'm driving home in an M8. It, it doesn't sit well with me. Mm. And especially when, you know, in South Africa, jobs are, are very short to come by. So now somebody's been given an opportunity to to have a job in something they love. You must see, like, uh, I'm going to refer to Harvey. You know, when, when I first met Harvey, he was he was somebody that, you know, he had a, a sparkle in his eye. And you destroyed that? And when, when he got told he had the job and he could start teaching, uh, he, he was like a different person, you know. Before that, he was, I wouldn't say he was in a hole and stuff, but he, he just wasn't the same person that he was. Mm. And for, for FX Goat, you know, they did something really well by lifting somebody out of the dirt. Mm -hmm. And I, in my head, I'm picturing that, that image of Harvey working in the mines. Mm -hmm. You know, especially with all the heartache that he's had with his family and stuff. I know his mom just passed away. And while he was in Durban, he had issues with his, uh, he, his dad, I think. And to be told that now you don't have a job and now you're going back to dust, that for me did not sit well. Okay, sure. okay, okay, check this. And we didn't say going to dust, bro. We showed them there's a way for them to move forward. Guys, we try to help them. I didn't want to get to this. I guess he mentioned him as well. I feel like Harvey was also affected mainly. And Harvey was getting more money than he used to get from the mines. I don't know how come he didn't manage his money better this time around. I don't know what people were doing with that money. He was getting less. We were paying him 10k. We have to get to the point. He was getting 10k. From being a mentor, he was getting 10k. Why do you need 10k as a mentor? You know what I mean? They got paid. Bro. I feel like he was targeting this guy to use to as a use, black person to, to get to people's emotions. This is what he does, a snake. Bro, he's a man. Bro, guys, be careful. I'm not gonna lie, guys. If he if he was able to do this to us, and it's like we're working with a scammer here, and house. you're gonna get scammed. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. Yo, and, you know, and I want to know, he also took the, our employees and they worked, they worked for him. I want to know if look, he got all of them, look, all of them. I'm pretty sure he didn't I'm get sure paid. He doesn't, he doesn't pay. pay. He doesn't pay. I don't know if the problem pays. We pay. For me, Emmanuel Tapelo, I, I wish you guys all the best and stuff, yeah, like but you got to remember, yeah, like, 
you don't necessarily have to step on other people to raise yourself up. Yeah. And that give me a chance to talk. It's fine. Let's hear the bullshit. That for me is exactly what happened. And for for me. exactly what happened and for for me i think and to be told that now you don't have a job and now you're going back to dust that for me did not sit well sure and you know for for me emmanuel tapello I, I wish you guys all the best and stuff but you got to remember you don't necessarily have to step on other people to raise yourself up yeah. and that that for me is exactly what happened the reason is here, he's trying to pull us down. Whoever is trying to pull you down, it's already below you. Ooh. That is what happens to the people are below you. He, I feel like he hates the fact that we're black and he's white and we're doing Ooh. so much better. Let me tell you guys something. There is no competition at the top. Competition is only at the bottom. People at the top are collaborating, making deals, getting more money, getting to the top, and helping each other. Like, if you're getting to the top, you know that you're talented, you know that you have your own lane. How would you be able to make it to the top? You know, as long as you have integrity, you can build the network, like, you can make it if you want it to be. So, that's the thing. When someone tries to pull you, that's when you know. That's why I didn't want to, you know, entertain a lot of hate because I know the worst thing that could happen to you instead of having a lot of haters is not having any haters at all. <laughs> that is the worst thing that ever happened because we have haters, it shows us we are successful. That's why some people hate. Right. Another 50% of people love us, another 50% hate us. It is what it is and we're doing the right thing. They want to hate regardless of what you do. You know what I mean? situation that i was you know when when i didn't get paid that month i said no he guys there's, there's laws this bro uh, even charged us yeah, he bro. like he was there for setting bro. up systems and stuff he money. put a system for discord and mm. when he's supposed to take it off it's like oh, i'm not part of the company i want to charge you i'm like what andrew what i'm like okay i want to lower down the prices and he still charged us we're like, okay cool i'm like you know what bro he keeps on making stop. withdrawals he keeps stop. on taking taking we never got a cent we paid him extra money we paid I him got anything bro, anything. Got him a bonus. i don't even go even today not even a single cent nothing. from this guy that's what you're gonna get yeah nothing bro that's jaguar <laughs> hey nothing. and the, the problem is the stigma that there was in fx go is everybody was too afraid to to speak up there was oh, really? there was never me, any backlash, you know. They said you never got paid for today. I wasn't going to question you because I was scared you're going to fight me. And you know, I think the the biggest uh, well, I don't want to hurt myself too know, much, but when me, oh, when gosh. when I was appointed CEO, everybody had somebody that they could at least speak to. Mm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that it, for me was the the downfall of if it's good. I don't know. You can see the hate. You can just let him continue. What happened to? Uh, well, like I said, we were making money, the money was coming in. Now, all of a sudden, there's no money to pay anybody. It's been low. It just, it just does yeah, not make sense. And as chief executive, I said today, and I don't know where the money's gone. Uh -huh. sure. But I can only sure. make assumptions as to it sitting in a driveway. <laughs> what, bro? Whoa! 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 I can't even celebrate. Oh. You're not even the whole time. Oh. You celebrate, bro. I'm oh. not even buying You guys want to see you doing good or better than them. Bro. Yes. Whoever believes this, bro, you are. You, you know. Mm. It is what you are waiting for this. You're waiting for this. Guys, give it time. If you owe someone, give them time. You'll see the true colors. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, it, things, I, don't, I don't know how to put this, you know. Um. <laughs> um. There's a reason for these platforms. It's not particularly. Um, mm. It's to provide information to people, you know. I'm not, yes, we I won't, we won't lie. We do make money from these platforms. Mm. Uh, it's a business at the end of the day. So but you, you know, I, I want to discuss because um, right now when we look at FX Code, uh, people see um, or people would perceive. Um, how can I put this? People would perceive that no, this for me is the end goal. Mm. You know, there would be a facade or right now that we'd see that, hey, look, uh, I need to be there. I need to be within that particular circle, mm. you know. And uh, look, I'm not, we speak about the jobs. I'm not, I'm not against anyone having a job. <clears throat> not at all. I've got a job myself. This is my job, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I think uh, the message of uh, being, I feel like, you know, I'm a, I'm also this is for myself now because I feel like I'm a bit, I'm trying to put everything together. The message of um, 
you know, people, we trade for financial freedom. We trade yeah. not to work nine to five. Yeah, I mean, we Because, like, I won't lie, this, this is news to me that people hear in the day. Hey, mentors were, were, were imp- yeah, I get it. They're employees. Employed, yeah. yeah, getting salaries, which obviously is understandable, you know. And I'm just like, eh. Whether a mentor or not, if they have provided services, they need to get paid. It's as simple as that. If they are an employee and they have executed the services which they were employed for, they need to get paid. It's as simple as that. So now, but on social media, you know, it's car number 17, car number 18, 20, 21, 22, and it kept going, yeah. you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so defeated by the, the by the fact that you know this this image gets put up, mm. with, and not and not not just by FX code, by mm. a lot of people in the industry. That hey, look, uh, come trade, and you know uh, if you trade, and then you know you'll be successful. You you'll have your own money, you won't work for anyone, and whatnot. And I guess that is the message that is being passed on by a lot of people, but even as employees. And mm. I'm just like, I feel like this just like. <laughs> I don't sure. know. Maybe it's just me. Sure. You know. Don't get me wrong. So, uh, as 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 a company of FX Goat, we the individuals that were employed by FX Goat at the time were there for a purpose. Okay. And not only did they benefit the the company in terms of it allowed us to generate more revenue because now there was more bums on seats to host sessions. Because yeah. if you think about it, if uh, when I joined FX Goat, there was something like four and a half thousand students. Yo. Nice. Nice, we didn't have a lot of students. Like, this is how students hey. Bro, when Andrew joined, I think we had, we had, no, no. Look, let me break down the numbers before. This is the current time. Uh-huh. The time when Andrew joined FS Gold, we had like 200 clients in NASDAQ and we had like 500 or 600 with currencies. And that's when he joined. We didn't even have a lot of clients, we had a lot of students because we were still searching for the right mentors. That's why I always want to make sure these guys are real. And some of them only gave us a facade. They couldn't continue. They didn't have that passion. You know I mean? They couldn't fall in love with just facade. the money. They don't want to. They don't want to go as hard as we do. Everyone wants to be a goat until everyone wants to be a goat until it's time to do what goats do. So that's the thing. We offered niggas opportunities, and those are many students we had. Currently, right now, we have like three hundred under Nasdaq, like seven hundred under currencies. All together, one point two. And check the message there. We added them all of them to three point Wait, all of them. We added all of them to three point oh. And if we take two point oh and two point oh Nasdaq and currencies, that's one point two less than from three point oh. We had five hundred clients for for five hundred clients for three point oh students. Plus minus, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's that was not a lot of numbers. And like my aim one know, day, it's yeah. Not bread and butter, and, and, and the thing, the aim is for me to reach ten thousand students one day. And the reason we're gonna do it, guys, we're gonna do it the right way because we learned the, the academy will come back again in the future. And when it's gonna come back, guys, we're gonna be having a prop prime. We're gonna be trying to get expert traders. And even if it's gonna it's gonna take some time, we we are pro expert traders. We you can see how it draws. We're killing prop primes now because we know how to trade. I mean, even people who are our students now are part of our signals and they know we don't win every time. Like, it's not about always hitting 100% win rate. Nobody has that. It's about taking a loss here and there. It's not only about t- hitting take profit. As long as you have the right, approach. As long as you have the right mindset, you're always going to win. Yes, sir. So what's Let's the target? Between Emmanuel and Tapelo at the time. Sure. So now imagine as two individuals, how do you manage that amount of people? Yeah. You, you can't. So when, when people were employed, I know Tabanga to be the first employees of FX Code. And don't get me wrong, the, the trading aspect of it is real. Right, but as a company, it's almost like us as a as a company. We're giving you an opportunity to to show us your talent and put you in the limelight a little bit. And they, they did that with me as well. And don't get me wrong, I got a salary from FX Goat, but it was not my main source of income. I can't say that for every other mentor, but the thing is, it it gave somebody an opportunity to work in an industry they love, mm. as well as be surrounded by it all the time. And I want to say, when you were chosen as an FX Goat employee, imagine how many people we had to choose through. So the, the select individuals that were taken on board were taken on board for a specific reason. Mm. We saw something in them that were, were different compared to all the rest, if you know what I mean. So the, the trading aspect on that is is all, uh, I can say, real from the mentor side of things. Mm. And our key word is mentors. Yeah. From that side of things, it's, it's real. Like the point is, maybe everyone came in right, but already were polluted people. Yeah, when, when got people there, got to, then they showed them there's easier ways to make money. You don't have to work hard, you don't have to play, you don't have to get stressed, you don't have to have the psychology. Don't be like the girls, they don't see them, they don't have to talk. Nah, let's save from them. That's where things happen. Yeah, because you scammed us, you were teaching them how to scam us like you did. Bro. Because where I can I can see the difference of, I'm going to go back to Harvey. 
when when he joined, he was trading and stuff, and he was following so my footsteps. And now? just the look on his face when he made his first hundred dollars, it's like you know when you hold like a lollipop up to a baby, and you know I want to grab it. Yeah, that that's the the face that he bought. Is like you know once once you're surrounded by these type of people, it's real. It is really really real. And I think a lot of for a lot of the mentors that were there, they they did get a lot of success because again you're. I, I can tell you your future by your five closest friends. And mm-hmm. when you're surrounded by everyone with a likewise mindset, mm-hmm. you're only there to build on each other. You're going to succeed. Yeah. And I think FX Goat provided that platform to those individuals to do so. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, when you join FX Goat, you, I want to say you weren't vetted, okay, but you were a trader when you joined FX Goat because that's why you joined in the first place. So it allowed you to use the FX Goat brand image on your signals. Um, on yeah, on your so own much. groups and stuff. So no, let me tell you. And they knew that guys, like we uh, we let them do their side hustles when they knew hundred percent the competitors' companies didn't allow them to do that because we're good hearted people. Like we give them a chance, and they got to a point by they were, you guys saw they're not making money for the company. You only got one sale in the whole of twenty twenty three. Doesn't make sense. And on top of that, guys, um, we allow them to push their own thing, and you go to a point by guys, they're not making any money at all. And there are times where they're in the office, the students there, they say they're doing their own personal thing. Then once you get a share from that, yeah, like, and if you do yeah, my talk, premises, my yeah, that's when I eat my hundred percent. I'm like, oh, should I give you everything and then not make anyone's comment? So this means this company is a charity case for you guys. They're using our name, bro. I, I don't want to lie. We do good to a lot of people. That's what we want to take away from us. Oh. And sometimes when you're good, it doesn't mean people will be happy about that. It means some people will send opportunities to use you because you're good people. Be careful. Not only did it build the company image, it built the individuals, but then it got really sticky towards the end. That okay, if you want to charge for something with FX good image, there's a there's a portion that needs to come back to the company, you know, you know, why, why and that's where things just started you. falling apart. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's you that's the thing. Sure Let me tell you, bro. Send the anyway. That was the way that's gonna pay for the company. He didn't want it. I you think that's the reason. Because even when he came with the Nostar thing, he said the company shouldn't be associated with anything, and the company struggled. Mm-hmm. That's what he go When we told him, I think that's why he was getting happy. Everybody, I don't know how we beat in CEO. Yeah. That's how much we had like low manipulation. Skills, bro. manipulation. Yeah, we learned from that. People like him now, I know people like him exist. Guys, the reason was came with Nostar happened once. It was a mistake. Mm-hmm. But the second time, I was going to be stupid if I allowed it. Yeah, thanks. I'm like, we made sure we're never gonna like anything. Make, I mean, I, I, I kind of get that. It's like franchising at yes. the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes sense. But then again, I do understand on both Indeed. sides. You know, the, the, the thing is, uh, for, for me, the, uh, when I was in FX Code, uh, I charged, I had signal groups and stuff, and I always charged for everything. Mm-hmm. But I the biggest thing that there was a disagreement was is I offered refunds. So if you join my single group and let's say you did not make any money, money and Andy, I copied the exact same trades as you are doing that money. Okay, fair enough. He has your money back. And the, and the biggest thing is, I said, guys, we need this to. This is the guy about Nostar. Stop the was, did you give me his refund? Put something in the company that shows that we're not interested in just eating all the time. And again, disagreements came in because it's over money. Sure. Uh, did, so. Uh, at this point, FX Code gets disbanded. Uh, completely, yeah. Yeah, so, completely. Do okay now. You can, you can only imagine these thousands of people, students at this point. Do you know what happened to them? Yeah, we I, I don't. Uh, again, reading from the the statement, they said that all the new enrollments and stuff are going to be closed, and all the existing students are still going to be managed. But from an aspect, are you guys seeing that? I guess think that look, I want you guys to understand something. If your biggest marketing tactic is by talking about other people, then you must have a really bad product. You must be really struggling. He was not getting any cloud. He had to lie about us. Bro. And I have to come and clear my name. People he think we're fine. You can get any views like no man. I then you come lie. back and lie. I have to get some cloud. Bro. I must step on so this guy so talk. I can be on top. You know what I mean? I want to bring them down. <laughs> Yeah. How do you make that of visibility? I have not seen anything because with with me being in IT, I had access to all of the platforms from the backside, so all the Discord servers and stuff. But everything is is collecting dust. There's the absolutely, I don't know if there's new groups and stuff that have been made, but the existing groups that were all there yeah. are, are sitting in with. Uh, I think the last message is only. Oh, I already sent a message where like I've always directed them. Go to this group. We send it signals here, guys. We do mentorships. Every month, every week, we're doing mentorships, bro. Okay. Advertisements that are being posted there. Hmm. But in terms of the the sessions and stuff that people paid for and the me- lifetime mentorship, hangers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
you know, uh, a lot of people, oh, is, and I and, and I don't want to ask this question. I don't want to, but I, I I know a lot of people will have my head for not even asking you this particular question. Mm. The land. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there we flopped. I mean, I mean, that's just give me my deal. Just give me my deal. I was called the hater, I was called jealous, I was called the brand that stands against the success of black people. But things just wasn't making sense to me. Like, why are you sitting outside the plot when you said you bought the plot? You're supposed to be inside if it's yours, not outside. And then uh, there's nothing wrong with being outside if the gate was open. But the guys were the gate was closed. The gate was locked. And that was the stuff to me that was like, okay, night. this doesn't seem right. And then the owner of said land's family got into contact with me. And that is how I got to the story. That's, that's the only negative thing people can talk about us. I you mean, there's a anyone? lot of people out here, you know, scammers doing big things, but you know, you know they don't they don't talk about them. The thing is, they want to attack the guys at the top. At the end of the day, even though the land thing was bad, they're trying to shift the space to, you know, talk about properties now. We're investing in properties. We're investing well, in we investing in things. Guys, you know what I mean? No, not, it's, yeah, flow. it's not always about cars. It's not always like we're trying to shift, and it didn't work out. So we're it sorry. About it didn't work out. You know what I mean? We're sorry about. Yeah. It. We didn't scam anyone. We're sorry like, about that. You know what I mean? That's our only mistake. We're not panicked. Bro, that's literally the only mistake. Yeah, because obviously at this point, this was like, you know, an, a, inspiring so many people, but then the again, truth came out. Again, you get lost in the source. <laughs> so again, I don't know. What's up? Bro, that's a line, bro. That's the line. In every meeting, we're telling you guys, you guys are getting lost in the source. This nigga wanted to be us so badly. Bro. bro. Guys, you see the problem bro. when hate becomes envy? Like, let me no, tell you guys, me... these guys have ambition. There are a lot of guys have ambition, but they don't have the hard work like we do. Now, I even wear glasses because I work so hard, my eyes even die. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. niggas, don't have, the only, niggas only have ambition. They don't have hard work. They don't have dedication. They don't come from the struggle like we did. So they end up envying once they can't do. Like, he's been talking about getting in shape. You can see he's lazy. Bro, guys. I work please, hard, bro. Yeah, that's what this, bro. Please stop. Bro, we it. work hard, bro. bro please. We stop. work hard. Trying to get myself in shape and take care of myself. Listen, listen, my money, listen, my, home, my, listen my bro. Family. Please stop taking me in controversy. You know what I mean? Every controversy thing, bro. All this back and forth about, you know, traders breaking each other down. It's all unnecessary, bro. I'm yeah, too busy like, building and growing to be distracted by all this noise, bro. I understand some people are growing with controversy. You know what I mean? Uh, some people are growing with the fact that they're able to talk about the goals. Some people are using our name to cloud chase. Yeah, we understand Highlight that. our failures, like, yep. but risk our success. Watch them. Bro, you want to see? We understand. You guys, it's like controversies helps you build your business. Just talk about it. Fund it. Talk you, about the best program in the world that's about to come with the biggest African giants, Kojo and us. Bro, the good people are working together, bro. And I want to tell you guys I'm what tired. happened. Well, why we decided to close the company, actually? Thing about the stunt that had been pulled. Oh, okay. there's a stunt. Uh, who yeah, else right. pulls up camping chairs outside some you know, plot of land and such thing? You know, and you know, I think it was That's only a matter of time before things were like I said. You every single month you're posting a new car. Eventually, that's going to dry up. So you now you need to go look at other ways to impress that same audience. And I think the the pools that were drying up, this was the next step in the you pool. And unfortunately, they were. What is he saying? Well, I'm like, no, let me help you guys. I think you guys are kind of like not understanding there. What he meant with the pools are drying up is not, not that he meant the funds was drying up. He means that he, he meant that you guys were running out of ways to impress people to buy your services. Because check, you've impressed them with a house already. You've impressed them with cars. You've impressed them with like millions of rands stacked on you. What can you still impress them with? A plane, a jet, which is obviously out of your costs. Not, 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 you know, being rude or condescending or anything like that. Fuck, I can't even afford a seat on a plane. But what are you going to impress people with now that you have done the most? That is basically what Andrew is meaning there. Unfortunately, they, they got caught out. 
And even as chief executive at the time, I, there was no food feed for us to stand on. So as, as a company, there's a derivative, ignore it. They're just hating, ignore it. Ignore it. And the, the thing is, you, you said they... You know what I mean? We'll try to see if we can control We always talk about losses. You know what I mean? We took a loss. We didn't mess We never said it, no. We never... Guys, bro. quit the pride, guys. Like, bro. find help. You need help because we also spoke about okay we did wrong but only yeah. speaking you have to stop envying stop stalking people's life bro. you're saying they're just hating but you're watching all the evidence in front of you and you think to yourself what am i actually representing here and i think that's where the the biggest thing is i don't know if you're familiar with a term called soft quitting uh, yeah i know silent quitting not soft quitting. Si silent quitting yeah, oh, same, oh same thing same okay thing. okay so i want to say just just before that is when i started silent quitting i was doing just the basics, just, yeah. just to get by and stuff, because and the, the FX Goat I joined uh, back then versus what it was then was not the same. Yeah, and that, you're not in charge. We gave you the charge. And this is exactly what you did to my company. And I feel like that's exactly what you did to your company. This guy's company is going to close. They still made the other one close in six months. Uh, let's see how long Stay. your current company lasts. Let's compare. Let's see the next five years. Yeah, guys, we said that for me was the biggest. Five years ago, we said CS in five years. Now we're seeing now five years from now, CS in five years. Let's see who's going to be Let's see who's going to be here. This thing, and, and we didn't have a foot to stand on, but uh, the company directive, ignore. They're okay. just hating. Ignore it. Ignore okay. it. ignore they're just hating ignore it ignore it yeah <laughs> and, you know I, 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 you know i always wonder like what goes on uh, like inside like within like you know especially when news like this goes out you know mm. and essentially you you guys are trending everywhere you know people are and now it's like yo what's being said there is it just a thing of like hey no it's a whatever thing you know, I think it it, it was a it was a mess up at the end of the day. You know, the 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 thing is, you can only lie for so long before stuff comes out, and you know, with you can only lie for so long. You can only lie for so long. You know what I mean, bro? Like, what do you mean, like you've been lying for so long? Even now, the whole interview has been a lie. Well, what they're doing, I know for a fact, everything before that was true. Okay. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen them do things, and I, I want to say that's when the gears, and the wheels started falling off. FX Goat is, you know, when everybody makes up their own mind. When you when you get told, imagine I tell you this this shirt is red. You you can see it's not red, but everybody else is saying it's red. You you know what's in your mind that you know that for a fact this is grey. But now, uh, me, I must just sit here and be like, no, they're just hating. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. The, the the guy uh, we know we speak the one thing you can talk about bro. the same guy that exposed them and when you when you're sitting with the evidence in front of you you know the, the guy was speaking about his father he was there they went and recorded how do you argue with that mm. and i think that's why the, the, the derivative was okay it happened let's ignore it forget about it and then a, a couple of weeks later the posts disappeared when you get caught with the, your, your your tail between your legs you, you cook what do you do simple Exactly, and sure. and like I said, that's when the wheels started falling off. Yeah, yeah. so now you are ex uh, CEO of FX Cards. <laughs> indeed, yeah, indeed, yeah. You know, again, and I'm gonna go back to. I'm grateful for, for all mm. the learning opportunities and everything that you know they've provided for me. For from the bottom of my heart, I, I still love FX Go to the mm. brand because it it's come from nothing. To, mm. to the biggest name in the industry that doesn't yeah. that doesn't happen by luck yes. and you know all the work and stuff that have been put into these uh to, to the company fx go the brand image i think if if it continued the way it was supposed to be operated why it was founded in the first place but if we never gave you or anyone our company bro, the company would be for honest you know what i mean i feel like we we messed up when we say because you know our trading was suffering like yo bro we're having less time on our trading space guys that is what they got it to be a problem you know what i mean i feel like if we found the right team and if the team actually listens to us still continue with our vision and mission still guys no, still be here. check this the reality is um you know we we saw that things are going bad we needed a mentor and that's when we went to saw uh kojo when we went to ghana and mm -hmm. funny enough he was going through the same thing that we did 
right? He had a team, he and some really people were him. trying to eat only from him. He was only the he was only the one doing all the work. And when things uh, went so bad, when things went too bad, um, he had his own money elsewhere, and they were like, "No, bring that money here. Let's eat it." Like the same thing that they wanted to do with us. Like, you know what I mean? Whatever they can find until they clean you dry. You know that's why we're. That that and that's how we learned. We have been through the same thing, and like took some advice and that's why we saw these things not going anyway they, mm. these guys are destroying it yeah and, and we talked about it though. and we closed the company and the reality is meeting. the reality is um we learned right guys we learned be careful of who you work with mm. yeah. it, it would be unstoppable but i think like you say like i said you just well, guys i'm glad that uh, nobody sees their mistakes you know? we're finally opening a problem with kojo i mean uh you know the best thing. good people are finally working good together. Working together it's not it's not and like, i'm gonna make my previous mistakes ever again that's the thing know, guys learn from that, you the know what i mean competition is at the bottom at the top we collaborate that's what we're trying to do like collaboration is always better than competition that's what we're trying to do niggas couldn't see the vision thanks just get lost in the source and Eventually, the wheels start falling off, and you start losing a purpose because now you're sitting with all this money. What do I do with it? But and like I said, when you up, now you see all this money, contradiction. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> and you gave to lose everything to. I gave to him access nine. to Stripe. He gave him access. You saw. You saw. You saw in your efforts that we gave you to see what you can do. You fight. When you you're buying cars and flexing all the time, eventually that. He saw the money from hmm. Stripe as well that he was used to pay. But he depleted. Pool is going to dry up. And hence we are here where we are today. Yeah. Mm. So what, what if the aim is the driveway now? If the pool dry up? Yeah. Now? Okay, so now that's yeah, heavy. This, this is all heavy, honestly. Why we still have everything we had? So why, 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 why do you lie? Why don't, why don't you say now, yeah. admit, if you say the pool dry up, I will buy the M8. And then how are, the making, how are we making so much money than before now? Yeah. We just buy ourselves. When we just trade it. You know what I mean? Being ourselves, 2024, 2023 has been best the moment we closed the company. We've mm. never made so much money than ever, bro. There's you know no I mean? leeches, bro. Like, imagine you trying to grow these leeches everywhere. Yeah, uh, no, you but thank leeches, you so much for getting into that. Uh, I hope you guys are happy. Because <laughs> 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 the, the comment section is always, uh, it's always a wild time. <laughs> indeed. Yeah, indeed. Um, yeah, actually, I want to talk about that. Uh, comment sections. <laughs> Uh, hey, my guy, I think this, this one, might, you, you can you can say skip if you want to. <laughs> I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so obviously there's a lot of people who speak out on social media mm. uh, within the comments. Uh, I don't know what was happening within the groups. Uh, were people allowed to communicate within the groups? Uh, yeah, so yeah. It, it just depended. Um, I, I have no knowledge of any comments or any freedom of speech against us being muted if you know what i mean okay so as, as a community there, there's there's groups on telegram where like all the students once you purchase the course and you finish it you get a telegram link that takes you to speak with all the students so the telegram is just confirm every student is in a telegram group so those are my students so so what is 4.5 from why did they lie to you just like that with the straight face and saying we're 4.5 before he came we do only had 10 200 why does he lie like this you can see the lie in front of him right. every student is in telegram that's the telegram groups you saw them Okay. So you, you basically your your network working with all the people in the same course, so you can do that. And eventually, it did get to a point where the groups were muted. Mm -hmm. uh, from that point of view, because we moved them to the that, besides, so there was also another entity that was sharing our link, putting in his yeah, people. I don't want to put his name inside. I don't want to say his name. He was basically sharing our link, and his bad pool would come there, post porn, things like that. So, like you know, guys, for your own sake, let's do sessions. Let's just do sessions. We're just gonna mute that to avoid that happening again. I mean, when somebody shares my thing, then you won't have to see anything discussed. Yeah, they ask him as an admin. Where you, you couldn't send messages unless you were an admin. Hmm. And a lot of that, uh, again, again, it's their own fault. Instead of addressing the issue, oh, like, for oh, example, somebody no, came to our comments and complained issue. about XYZ, instead of addressing the issue, we just deleted. it. Right. Hmm. Live! Okay, what about live. Zoom sessions? Zoom sessions. Each okay, week. whoever is a student, guys, go check there. There's always Zoom sessions uploaded daily. Go please check all and the And they even pages. deleted our YouTube channel. Guys, do you know what, what this niggas even did, guys? Yo. Our YouTube channel. People are wondering, ah, 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 let's go. Where are the videos? And was part of this, these people too. And he was also inside. And he was also oh, inside. Was they were trying to steal our YouTube to channel. Steal my channel. This one. These guys wanted to take everything. They were here to eat Bro, and fend for themselves. They were here to destroy the goats. It was a master plan. 
Niggas didn't love what we were doing. Niggas were hating from day one. Bro. Our only scene was being successful in front of them. Mm. And now what that does is there's a there's a very there's a guy that everybody, all the mentors hate, his trading hub. Mm. Mm-hmm. And somebody goes instead of uh, you, you, you complain to you send a message to Emmanuel or whoever the support was to say, Look, I'm not happy with this. It's only wrong when he's lying about our, you know, legitimate like ourselves. Like, it's a problem. I love some because, but when he went like, for the time I did something wrong and he's he saying this is wrong, then I brought him for the guy. Let me tell you, and I'll let not do such wrong things again. Let me tell that you why. where I agree and not disagree, and also disagree with good ways, like. Uh, you are right now. Let me tell you another thing as well that makes me laugh because there was a time he used to share our losses and when we win, he keeps quiet. Yeah, every time. So you see, they always broadcast your hate, yeah, yeah, your you're mistakes. Start, you're they always broadcast your mistakes, but they whisper your success. Okay. In fact, your success is not important. They don't talk about how many times we win. How much help people? How much help we win? Just give him money back. And you block him. Okay? Yeah. What does he do? He goes to Trading Hub. Trading Hub then has a community of all the people that are tired of being scammed and the all of the, the BS that's going on. And now he decides, okay, let's go flood this group. I have a link to that group. Let's go flood it. So that's and that's where the suppression started coming in. Mm. But it, from Instagram, I've uh, I've never logged into the Evercode Instagram. I don't have access to it. Mm-hmm. But I've I've never ever suppressed anybody complaining about nothing. I still mm. have all the group chats of where people would message me as CEO saying, hey, I bought the course. It's rubbish. This, this. Can I get my money back? Mm. Nah, some people are just, you know, they always opportunities sometimes. Yeah. Some people will come here. In don't fact, let don't copy. Don't they record the whole thing, they sell it, and they say they want a refund. Like, there are people like that. Like, people are and we found them, and then we saw what they do, and then we actually... And we provide evidence. Season, season and, again, and we ban them. Yeah. And we're going to ban you as well. If you come and steal my course and share with other people and come live, we're going to ban you. It's business. Like I mentioned in the previous podcast, there's a thing called terms and conditions. Yeah, 100%. Read your terms and conditions, guys. <laughs> Every business <laughs> has one. And because I think if you guys go, and a, and a lot of guys need to have terms and conditions, especially guys providing services. Exactly. It's so important because... Win, win. Win, win. That's what we're talking about. Yes, right now. Okay, let me take, uh, for instance, take a lot. Mm-hmm. They've got terms and conditions. Mm-hmm. You know, if you purchase an, uh, a product from them or whatever, yes, in the terms and conditions, you can return it uh, on whatever basis that fall within the terms and conditions, whatnot. But the moment it falls out of, and I feel like, hey, look, uh, six, or oh, let's say I'm, I'm allowed to return a certain product with, I'm, uh, it's, an, uh, it's, it's a scenario I'm creating, guys. Let's say I'm, I'm allowed to return a product within six months. Uh, and I decide to try return it within six months and two days. Mm. That's out of that. Now I can't go on social media and say, "Call uh, take a lot to scam." Mm-hmm. But yeah, a lot, yeah, but a lot of people will probably there will be the thing of like, "Hey, no, take a lot to scamming me." What not? What one, two, three, four? Because it kind of fell out of their terms and conditions. You know, whatever exactly. they said was in place. And I think a lot of mentors in the industry, if they were to have terms and conditions of like, "Look." One, two, three, one, two, three. If this would happen. Oh, guys, I wanna, that's another thing. I was checking uh, some of the comments. Um, basically, before I watched the video, I wanted to see some people saying, yeah, we scammed yeah. them. Um, yeah, guys, yeah, first of all, all so got, Tapelo, no, no, they were saying, yo, Tapelo scammed, Tapelo good scammed someone. Guys, it happens to everyone. Like, they scam us in person. There's a lot of people who impersonate people. They're gonna be using Mama right, Kize. Image. They could be using anyone who's famous, even Q Guardians, like anyone who's big. They would use those people and scam people with that, you know what I mean? And pretend like they don't know about social media scams. Like, be educated, stop being gullible. Some people are gullible. They say, I'm going to take your $100 to $10,000 in a night. And they pay that like, we money. don't do everything we post. We don't do that. We post this. We don't scam people. We don't you know do investments. I mean? None of those things. One, two, three. That's what's happened. A failure of service, things like that. Yeah, and also, guys, also take the mentors must also take accountability for the fact that they, you guys are providing a service to people in mm-hmm. exchange for funds. You know, so don't think now the terms and conditions must be in the favor of the the business owner. Must also be in the favor of the yeah, client. The customer, yeah. Should you not be able to provide that service, so I think it would save so many people. Like. You know, especially the scam word would kind of just kind of dis- disappear. Dis- disappear there, and people would know, hey, I'm here for this. Oh, I read, I, I can't do one, two, three, and they can come and question. It. And if you're not happy with it, go to another, go to another place. Exactly, and I think with with FX Goat, we we had that a lot in the beginning, being called a scam because I can't get a refund. But the yes. thing is, we're selling a digital product. We we have no way of figuring out if you've copied that course, whatever already. 
and now you just want to send it back because it's a digital file. So how do you take it back? How do you ensure that it's not being copied? Mm. And the biggest thing is with with uh, when we expanded into offering services on Discord, we we're charging eighteen dollars a month, two hundred fifty bucks, and you got uh, Zoom sessions every day of the week. But now the thing is, there were some sessions that were missed because of load shedding. Mm-hmm. And now load shedding is out of our control. We can't control it. But now you're not having a session, but now you're saying we're scamming because you're not giving your session all your money back. But it, it clearly states in the T's and C's, before you even purchase, you have to tick a box. Mm. So there's no way you could have got access to that without ticking that box. Mm. And a lot of people feel outdone by that. But at the same time, you've done it on your own prejudice. You've, you've ticked that box and you've submitted. Again, I don't know if it's out of excitement to join a group or to start trading or what, but People always forget that this is probably where I'm going to like clock out because I think the goats have said everything they needed to say. I think they have posted everything that they needed to post. And I think they acknowledged their mistakes for as far as they could. I would like to commend the goats on coming clean on that land issue. I mean, I know I was right, but it's a little bit late, guys. And I sincerely hope you don't do that again in the future because... You have probably seen it now, but it definitely hurts the credibility of your brand. And speaking about your brand, going into the future, I sincerely hope it's only going to be you two. Because all of these holes that you guys are talking about, because you guys said that water can't come into the boat unless there's holes in the floor. All of these holes that has been placed in the floor has been made by people whom you guys have invited into your circle right um i sincerely hope you guys will be able to bounce back from this because fx code is probably the uh, the biggest although the credibility is about that right now they are the biggest uh, um academy i would say and um the most influential traders right now in the south african landscape but you know seeing them come with receipts like this it's really gonna be an effort or it's really gonna be a big deal now um if andrew had to just come out and post things against that you know i think i'm gonna reach out to andrew as well because um they have obviously said that he scammed them and i just want to find out by andrew my bro why did you scam them man why did you scam them so in the next coming days probably tomorrow or so i will um because i'm gonna uh, um get hold of andrew like right now the moment i drop this video but the moment i have time i'm gonna ask him and i'm hoping he will answer me today so that i can drop that video uh by tomorrow or the day after tomorrow thank you so much guys for joining i sincerely hope you guys have learned something new and i also sincerely hope you guys won't just call me a hater anymore when i expose some things man because evidently you have heard by the fx goats themselves they never owned the land the land wasn't theirs it was just a marketing strategy so at the end of the day just give me my flowers it's long overdue